Hi traders, this is Forex Nelson and I'm back again today with another nine trades. Today's date is May the 25th and I am using my new pip trigger trading system. The system uses um, moving averages amongst some other indicators here on the top and it uses momentum aiding indicators down at the bottom. Now I have both alerts turned on, one for the hull moving average It'll either say up or down or the super signal in indicator which will say either buy or sell. Now every system I'm trading with moving forward into the future I will automatically be adding the super signal indicator. It gets the readings from the um, three indicators along with this gold line down here at the bottom. Very easy to add it to any trading system that you might have and it will immediately make it a much better trading system. It really helps to find the beginning of the up and down cycles within the market. Now this is great for traders who love to scalp the market, especially on the five minute time frame. Now every morning at six o'clock a.m. New York time, right where this vertical line is, I'm in front of the computer looking at uh, all the different instruments and I'm also taking a look at the daily trade plan, trying to make a decision whether I should be buying and or selling. And I most recently had a trader ask me, where does this white arrow come from? Well, I look at the daily trade plan. If it says look for bullish trades, which it did earlier, then all I do is I click on this little tab here It'll either say arrow up or arrow down. So what I did or what I do is click on up and I just put like that. Very simple. So this kind of reminds me, plus everything down here is at the bottom is blue. The hull is blue. So there's plus we got a blue super signal right here. Now this is the way the market moves. You know, you'll get a signal. And of course, many times it'll do a pullback. I teach how to trade pullbacks within the training videos. And then away it goes according to the daily trade plan. The daily trade plan is something that you must have. If you don't have a daily trade plan, well, that's probably why you are losing. Now, this is later on in the morning. It's 10 a.m., 10.05 actually. And... Um, this can easily change from bullish to bearish or some of them say not enough strength. That's why you have to keep an eye on this. This is preset for day trading. So the focus is on the 30 minutes and the one hour. And then if you're a swing trader, you can focus on the four hours and daily. And then of course, if you're like the banks and you don't mind putting in a 500 pip stop, well, then you can focus on the weekly and the monthly. So I am a day trader. It is preset for day trading. And as far as I'm concerned, um, it works great. If you have any questions about this, um, uh, just Skype me this way here. We can talk live and I can do screen sharing and answer your questions. Okay, now we can get into these trades. The first trade I took was the Euro Aussie. Here's the Euro Aussie. And of course, now you know how to put these arrows in. Let's just, you're going to left click. Another tip is left click on the pair that you want to see. Just drag and drop. Now, if this chart happened to be a different chart, it would change it to the Euro Aussie. In other words, I'm on the Euro Aussie now. If I click and drag this up the Euro New Zealand it would change this chart to Euro New Zealand so I don't want to change the charts because they're all in the order that I love here we go left click hold the left button down on your mouse drag it up and drop it and that's where I got in markets very random it could have easily gone straight up market does a bit of a pullback I'm not worried about it and as um, long as you know how to read the charts, you have the daily trade plan, well, you're good to go. 
So I took the trade at this cursor. Would have made a lot more if I closed the trade right now. But I was happy. It looks like uh, with about 14. And those 14 pips paid out $97. Moving on to the next trade, which is the Euro New Zealand. Here we go. Wanted to be buying this arrow telling me or reminding me I want to buy. I personally don't have to put in an arrow because I can just tell by looking at the charts it's going to go up. It gets more confusing when the charts are a little bit more messy looking. So it looks like I took the trade here, did the same as the previous trade, um, did a bit of a pullback and then it continued on its way up. Euro New Zealand got in at that cursor and closed it out here being happy with about 18 pips and those 18 pips paid out $109. Moving on to the next trade which is the Euro Dollar. Now the Euro Dollar since the USD is on the right hand side does pay $10 for each uh, pip. It's the same as the Pound Dollar. They both pay $10 looking at the money here. This should be 13 pips. Wanted to be selling it. There's the arrow from the daily trade plan. Again, this is what the market does. So remember, um, especially on the futures and the indices, putting in a 10 pip or tick stop uh, more often than not will not hold. Remember, you have to give the trade some room. Move, and that's... And I've seen this a thousand times. I teach exactly where a better position for you to take the trade. But I'm not worried about these swings. So I took the trade at this point, And as I mentioned, um, should be 13 down to here. There it is right there, 13 pips. And that paid out $130. Moving on to the next trade, which is the dollar CAD. Wanted to be buying it. There's the arrow directly from the daily trade plan. Let's see where I got in at. Again, same thing. Got to give it a little bit of room to, uh, you know, to move. And finally went in the direction that everything was telling me at this point. It's telling me it's going to go up. Got in at this cursor and I closed it out. At this cursor, being happy, looks like with 18 pips, and those 18 pips paid out $139. Let's move on to the next trade, which is the Dow Jones. Now this one pays um, $5 for each tick. Remember, futures, indices, they're called ticks, and in Forex, they're called uh, pips. And um, when the market, sometimes it's a little bit more flat, but uh, still tradable, as long as you get everything in proper order. So let's drag and drop this up, see where I got in at. And remember what I mentioned before, you have to give it room to, to move. And looks like it's in this tight range, top and bottom. But it could have easily kept going down, break the bottom and keep going. Now I took the money and divided it by five and the calculator says it should be 34 ticks. There it is right there, 34 ticks and that paid out $170. Moving on to the next trade, pound dollar, like the euro dollar I mentioned earlier, pays uh, $10 for each um, pip. Wanted to be selling it, there's the arrow. I knew it was gonna go down. Let's see where I got in at. Again, this is the way the market moves and it could have gone up even a little bit higher. And looks like it's bottoming out right around this area, struggling to break the bottom. So looking at the money, this should be 27 um, pips. And this is exactly why I closed it out as soon as it was hitting this support area. There it is right there, the 27 uh, pips, and that paid out $270. Okay, moving on to the next trade, the S&P 500. This one pays $5 for each tick, wanted to be selling it. 
that's exactly what I did now just to let you know I could have bought it at this point but I knew eventually it was gonna go down so that's exactly what I did I sold it when I got this sell signal right here but it wouldn't go at this cycle but it finally went um, let's see the time on this this happened to be the uh, opening bell remember you have to be aware of the opening bell for the futures and the indices that's 930 and at 830 you have to be aware of um, Forex um, usually 830 is when you'll get some kind of a movement and that applies uh, for the this one is for Forex and this one is for the futures and the indices so I took the trade here and it was a waiting game because I knew eventually it was going to come back in my favor and um, I divided the money by five and it says 72 ticks that's as close oh there it is I managed to get it you remove the last digit so it's 72 ticks and that paid out three hundred and sixty two dollars moving on to the next trade which is the Nasdaq now this one pays twenty dollars for each tick wanted to be selling it took it from the daily trade plan I knew after it hit some area of resistance it was going to give a bit of a push down went up a little bit more which was tradable by the way but uh, I was trading uh, the pullback to the goal line anyhow no matter what it is it still turned out to a winner and uh, I took the money divided it by 20 and if it was four hundred dollars it would be exactly 20 but it's 19.7 actually and uh, so 19 19.7 so let's just round it up because it's so close to 20 let's just call it 20 ticks and that ended up paying out 394 dollars okay let's move on to the next trade which is crude oil here we go crude oil pays ten dollars uh, for each tick nice and clear the charts all the way from back here actually that it was going to go down I teach exactly how to get in at the best possible uh, spot um, I know that it might go back to the goal line but things like that don't bother me so let's see where I got in could have easily just went straight down I knew that it could go back to here that doesn't bother me looking at the money and since it pays ten dollars this should be 75 that I received today 75 ticks and uh, there well almost had it the mouse is acting up anyhow it's 75 times at ten dollars ended up paying um, 750 dollars so another great day of trading using my pip trigger along with uh, the super signal indicator and my daily trade plan um, I added up all the pips and the ticks and I knew it was going to be over 200 grand total came to 291 and all of those uh, pips and ticks paid out $2,422 so if your system's not producing like my pip trigger well I recommend you get your hands on it and don't forget about the daily trade plan now if you want uh, to buy or if you just have any questions um, just Skype me and all my contact information is right below this video now as I mentioned right below the video you will see this button right here that says show more all you got to do is click on it and then scroll down quite simple as I mentioned I do prefer Skype you have Skype even if you think you don't if you have a computer you have Skype anyhow just click on this link we'll have Skype connection please keep in mind that there's four things you need to succeed at trading if you remove any of any of these good chance you're gonna fail if you leave your name and email address I'll put you on my email list for free weekly trading tips now there's four different packages I do charge $250 each I recommend buying all four packages 
I do have a special offer. If you buy two packages, I'll give you one of the other two for free. So number one and number two, number one is the pip trigger. It does not include the super signal. I got the super signal about four months after I put this package together. So the training videos do not show it. So if you want the super signal indicator, it's package four, easy trader system with the super signal indicator. Number three, number four is limited to four training videos. Number three is the daily trade plan. Number two is how I trade live advanced trading tips. And of course, if you scroll down, I'll show each package and what you're going to get in it. The more that you learn, and you will be learning. If you're trading 20 years now, you will still be learning. Because trading the markets is much more difficult than becoming a doctor or lawyer. I have doctors or lawyers who are great at their profession, but they are not good traders. They failed at trading. So that tells me, and it should tell you, trading is more difficult. And of course, you know, it's going to take a certain amount of time and it's going to take education. Here's the next package, how we trade, the next one, daily trade plan. This is an expert advisor that runs in real time. So gone are the days where you're going to spend at least 30 minutes trying to analyze the charts and make a decision whether you should be buying or selling. This, as far as I'm concerned, is worth at least $1,000. Because without a daily trade plan, you're going to struggle. And of course, here's the uh, super signal indicator right here along with the four videos. Listen, if you want to pick up the phone and call me, be my guest. If you live too far, send me an email. I'm in Cambridge, Ontario, Canada. And don't forget, uh, there's another link right here to make a connection. And of course, please note that there are no refunds because once you get the product, you have it. And if you have it, well, you know, that's uh, the way life goes. So think twice before you buy. So just about time to wrap up this video. It's a few minutes longer than I normally like, but I did a lot of trades today. And um, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. So until the next trading day and video, I want to wish you good luck with your trading and remember to keep yourself and your family safe. Okay, bye for now.